Hello everyone, yet another state has released a notification for the requirement of assistant town planners and we are talking about Uttar Pradesh Public Service Commission. UPPSE has released an advertisement for the requirement of 24 posts or tw they, they released an advertisement with 24 vacancies for the requirement of assistant town planner this year 2023 and they are going to conduct an examination as a process of requirement. We will look into the detailed uh, selection process for this particular uh, assistant town planner post in Uttar Pradesh. Uh, but let me tell you, we at KP Gate classes are starting your preparation, preparation coaching for this particular post as well. And the first batch for assistant town planner up is starting from 16th of august so enroll into our classes that's the first batch and we have new batches starting every week for atp up psc examination and in this video so let me take you through the overview of this particular video first we will be in this particular brief session we will be going through the details of the eligibility criteria what are the requirements for you to apply or for you to uh, get selected for this particular post of atp assistant town planner uh, in Uttar Pradesh and we will also look into the important dates for the requirement process uh, uh, I, whatever dates we know at this point of time through the official notification we will have a discussion on that we also will be looking into the selection procedure what how many stages are there in the selection procedure and what would be the process for that and finally we will also briefly discuss about the uh, strategy which you need to have or how should you prepare for this particular examination so if you are planning to apply for ATP examination in UPPSC this video will be the first step for you where you will get the required information all the required information in this short video so let us first start by looking into the eligibility criteria as per the official uh, advertisement and also as per the official notification released on the website of UPPSC the eligibility criteria for this particular post is going to be either B plan or it is not and it is or either you should have a b plan degree or you should be an associate member of any of the following so they have listed three organizations itpi that is indian town planners institute institute of town planners india then you have american institute of town planners and also institute of town planners london so you should have uh, associate membership of any one of these organizations as a requirement criteria to apply for this particular post so either b plan or associate member of ITPI so basically if you have done your bachelor's in some other field like either civil engineering or if you have done your bachelor's in architecture and then you have completed your master's M plan uh, and then registered with ITPI then you will be eligible for this particular post there is no other rule for domicile and all uh, you should you should be of UP domicile if you want to apply through a reservation category if you want to claim the reservation benefits of SC ST or OBC or EWS category then you will have to be of uh, Uttar Pradesh domicile other than that if you are applying for the undesired category there is no uh, limitation with respect to the domicile of state also so the only eligibility requirement is you should have B plan or uh, bachelors with any degree but M plan which is uh, recognized by ITPI so in the official advertisement they, all, they have also published a list of colleges and courses which are eligible so the complete list so there are a total of 28 colleges which are recognized by ITPI so the list of 28 colleges and the corresponding courses which they have recognized all that is public published in the official advertisement you can have a look through that to check if you are eligible for the requirement procedure by this uh, UPPSE for assistant town planners that's with respect to the education educational qualification as far as the age criteria is considered you should have a minimum age of 21 years and the maximum age limit is 40 years for unreserved category uh, so 21 to 40 years that's the age uh, criteria for this particular post and the date the reference date for uh, the age criteria is going to be July 1st 2023 for the remaining educational qualifications the reference date or the uh, the date by which you should have the uh, educational qualification that is by the last date of the application which is 14th of September 14th September 2023 before that you should have either B plan or associate membership 
with ITPI or uh, American Institute or uh, uh, ITP London, any one of these institutes, you should have an associate membership. So that's with respect to the educational qualification or eligibility criteria with the age uh, this age uh, limitation. As I told you, if you want to apply through a reserved category or want to claim any age relaxation benefits, you should be of do UP domicile, Uttar Pradesh domicile. Other than that, if you are uh, within this age category you and if you have the ITPI member or if you have a B plan degree you will be eligible for application of this particular post however it is uh, something uh, so one of the important parameters here is you should be uh, you should know Hindi because there is going to be an examination in Hindi as well so we will discuss the details of the examination in a while uh, so but before the exam details let me uh, also tell you about the important dates as per the advertisement by UPPSC uh, for the ATP examination so there is no interview for this selection procedure the selection procedure is going to be only through an examination no other interview or uh, no other criteria other than the examination so there's no weightage being given to your marks sheet in the or marks in the university and all the only selection is going to be through an examination however the exam is going to be a two-stage examination but before that we let us let me tell you the important dates the we do not know the date of the exam at this point of time we know the application window however the application the first day or the start of the online application it is already live it is uh, the the application window started from 14th of uh, august and then the last date for this admission of the online application for you to complete it is a one month window you'll need to complete your application by 14th of september you should also complete the fee payment and you should get the receipt by 14th of september that's the application window which is available or that's the information with respect to important dates which we have at this point of time date of the examination will be announced due course of time so first uh, let us now look into the selection procedure which is an important one and which you should have a good understanding on now there are many points over here which students are generally getting confused with respect to the official advertisement uh, so it it is a simple selection procedure with two stages as I told you there is no interview here but there will be examination in two stages so preliminary examination stage one so you will have a prelims and then you'll have a main examination too uh, the selection will finally be based on your score in the main examination only main written test that's going to be your selection uh, th that's going to be the uh, uh, criteria for your selection however for shortlisting preliminary examination qualifying preliminary examinations is important so there are two exams when you apply for this post you should first apply for the preliminary exam which the application window which you have right now that will give you the uh, admit card for the preliminary examination once you qualify the preliminary examination you need to fill the application once again uh, so your uh, uh, merit list will be announced by UPPSC and if you are in that merit list you can apply for the mains and once you apply for the mains uh, based on the score you get in the mains uh, examination you your selection will be finalized as an ATP there is no further interview here uh, at least as per the notification which we have at this point of time uh, and as I told you the total number of vacancies here are 24 so it is going to be competitive but uh, if you are doing well in the uh, so qualifying prelims first is important and then doing well in the mains is important so it is a two-stage selection now let me tell you about the exam details here what is the mode of the examination the marks weightage and the syllabus let us discuss those details firstly with respect to preliminary examination that is prelims it will be an exam with 120 questions and it is going to be an OMR based examination uh, so it will be uh, you'll have an OMR sheet you'll have a booklet where you'll need to mark the correct answers or shade the correct answers on the OMR sheet uh, at, at least as per the information which we have at this point of time through the official notification so you'll have a total of 150 questions all of which are going to be multiple choice questions so each and every question will have four options any one option will be correct out of those four you'll need to select that correct answer and each question will be of two marks and the exam will be of two hour duration so 120 minutes 150 questions so it is an exam where time is going to be a very crucial factor you'll need to solve more than one question per minute so 120 minutes 150 questions the weightage of each question is two marks and you will uh, get a total weightage of so the total exam weightage it is 300 marks and there is negative marking in this examination too if you have an incorrect attempt so in the OMR examination if you are uh, circling up to multiple answers or if you are selecting an incorrect answer 
you will lose marks there is negative marking for it however if you leave out some question because you don't know the answer in such cases negative marking will not be awarded you will just get zero marks so that's with respect to the preliminary examination but one important point in addition to this with respect to prelims exam is out of 150 questions two thirds of the exam that is 100 questions will be from the topic of urban planning town and country planning basically so from the topic from the core subject of planning you will have 100 questions and you will have 50 questions from general studies general studies includes the topics of polity economy geography history of india independence movement so you need to know about the economy and polity of india general studies it is so that's that's the syllabus for the prelims examination so 100 questions of the subject that is urban planning town and country planning uh, the, we'll talk about the syllabus of urban planning too in a while and you'll have 50 questions from the general studies part uh, so total of 150 questions and uh, the weightage is 300 marks as far as the qualification uh, threshold is considered for the unreserved category as per the notification 40 percent is the minimum requirement for you to qualify the prelims examination so all the students who are writing this examination and are scoring more than 40 percent will be uh, published under the merit list will be selected into the merit list and you will be eligible for the mains examination which will be a second stage of the examination for the reserved category that is for SC and ST category the selection criteria is 35 percent weightage so 35 percent and 40 percent for unreserved that is the uh, minimum threshold for the selection into merit list once you are selected into the merit list you can apply for the main return examination now with respect to main return examination this is important because this will be the final selection uh, say criteria for your uh, selection into a, as an ATP in UPPSE in the selection procedure so uh, irrespective of what your weightage is in the prelims is just for qualifying this is just for qualify qualification you need to do well in this examination however the requirement is based on the main return examination the main return examination will have two question papers unlike the prelims prelims there's, there's only a single question paper with 150 questions two hours in the mains you will be having two question papers paper one and paper two paper one is an exam for hindi so you have basic topics of hindi including uh, say uh, synonyms are uh, also grammar of hindi and you also have questions uh, you also have questions related to comprehension or basically questions related to uh, essay writing essay writing nibandh nibandh based questions are also asked in the examination so the, there are two papers paper the syllabus is given in the notification you can have a look at it so paper one is going to be a hindi examination which will be a two hour long examination with a weightage of 100 marks and highest weight so majority of the weightage that is 200 marks will be for paper 2 paper 1 for 100 marks which is based on hindi knowledge or understanding and writing ability of hindi and the second paper is going to be the core subject that is urban planning town and country planning which will be a 3 hour examination for 200 marks and uh, complete paper 1 and paper 2 both are going to be a return examination return examination as in it's not an online test it is not an omr sheet based test it is not an mcq based test it is where you will have questions and you need to write the answers uh, so it is going to be a traditional written examination paper 2 that is urban planning topic town country planning the three hours that is 200 marks of questions you will need to answer a total of five questions so eight questions will be given in the question paper of which you will need to answer five questions each question will carry a weightage of 40 marks so 200 marks will be the weightage of it so it is a return examination where you will need to write the descriptive answers in the question paper so that's about the selection procedure so i hope it is clear to just put it in simple terms पहले आपको preliminary examination clear करना पड़ेगा, where you will get shortlisted into the merit list. 40% इसका criteria है. If you are having 40% weightage, मतलब 40% से pass हो गया अगर आप, you will get into the merit list. Once you get into the merit list, you should do well in the return examination. जिसमें आपके दो papers होंगे, paper one which is going to be Hindi and paper two which is going to be the urban planning or town and country planning. दोनों ही descriptive papers हैं। You will have you will have a return traditional return examination with paper and pen based approach. So that's about the selection procedure. As I told you, I'm repeating or reiterating again. The selection will finally be based on only the return examination, not the prelims. Prelims is just a means of qualification or shortlisting you. Is ये shortlisting के लिए है या selection के लिए है? I hope the selection procedure is clear to you all. As far as syllabus is considered, syllabus for all the three parts. So syllabus for Hindi 
Hindi exam also is given in detail in the notification. You can go through it. Ki nibandh hoga do questions, baki questions you will have. The, the different topics are given with respect to it uh, Vyakaran ke upar and Hindi ke uh, synonyms ke upar you, you'll have a lot of topics which are mentioned in the official syllabus all that is a part of the syllabus as far as the town and country planning that is course subject is considered the syllabus is same for preliminary examination and also for paper 2 dono ka syllabus same hai However, this type of questions are in the typology of questions. Here you will have MCQ questions, here you will have descriptive questions. So, just the way you have to write it, it will be very different. But the syllabus, the concepts are same. The official syllabus is same for prelims and also paper too. So, when you are preparing for the prelims itself, just say we are having our classes starting from 16th. So, from the beginning itself, you should focus on concept-based approach. As I said, focus on MCQ questions. You should focus on concepts. So that when you are done with the preliminary test and when you are writing the actual return examination, you will be in a state that you will be able to write and write and write and write. We will be in our coaching classes. We will be first covering all the topics of the syllabus for preliminary examination. If you are shortlisted in the preliminary exam and if you are getting selected into the return test, also if you are applying for the mains आप हम आपको उस particular excuse me उस exam का भी हम आपको preparation कराएंगे so prelims first and then we will give you the guidance for the mains as well as far as the exam syllabus is considered it covers all the basic topics of urban planning ranging from planning theories planning techniques and also transportation even even housing is a part of the syllabus every aspect of urban planning and planning related subjects including ptm planning technique planning legislation professional practice uh, transportation housing and also in, uh, including other aspects like for example environment and development environment impact assessment or environment in, environmental issues in planning that's a part of syllabus you also have the topic of infrastructure which includes both social and physical infrastructure which includes water supply solid waste management all the types of infrastructure uh, so it covers the entirety of the planning syllabus which you should be thorough with for both prelims and also mains examination so that's a brief idea on the syllabus however for a detailed list so these are just 32 points which are given in the syllabus under each and every point description also is given in, you can uh, is given in the official notification of the syllabus you can go through that uh, on, on our website or also on the website of UPPSE the link will be available to you in the description of the video uh, so for the preparation of ATP we are conducting live online classes as I told you the first batch is starting from 16th of August you can enroll into the first batch itself to stay ahead of others in the preparation however we have new batches starting almost every week so you can contact us contact number of us is available in the description of the video you can contact us on that number for further guidance for your uh, for uh, getting enrolled into our live online classes all the lectures will be available with the recorded backup which will be available to you till the date of the examination and if you have qualified the prelims you will have access of the lectures the recorded lectures till the mains exam too and uh, you will also have a test series with uh, practice questions uploaded onto it which includes mock tests and also sectional subject wise tests you will also get printed study material set along with the coaching program so you can uh, so you will get all the resources from our end which covers the entire syllabus be it study material test series uh, practice questions recorded backup of the live classes all these resources will be given to you for your preparation from your end you should make utilization of these resources put in your efforts so that you get selected into this post of ATP which is a very prestigious post because it is a level 10 job and it is going to be of pay scale 5400 so it is a very prestigious job and you'll need to put in the required efforts to get there uh, if you are interested in preparing for other government examinations also in parallel you can also enroll into a foundation course which is already running which is a one year program which covers not only the syllabus for the planning examinations it will also cover the additional uh, topics for architecture based examinations too like DDA or UPSC it covers all these uh, ex syllabus for all these exams as well so you can directly enroll into a foundation course which will cover the syllabus of all the examinations and you'll get a additional set of you'll get a total of seven books which covers the entire syllabus in the foundation course so it is up to you you can either select or enroll into UPPSC batch you, uh, the UPPSC ATP selection uh, pro, uh, for that examination 
or you can also enroll into a foundation batch whichever is suitable for you depending on which exams you're targeting for that's all for from my end for this video we will come up further with further guidance videos with respect to this particular post in the future do stay connected with us on this youtube channel do subscribe to it and do also do stay connected with us on other social media platforms you'll find the links for all our social media platforms in the description of this video thank you everyone